Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. We're doing something a bit different today. If you're married or if you're in a couple, let me know if you do this, but basically most nights me and my husband would like save reels and <laughs> when before going to bed we'll like show each other our saved reels and literally it's like a routine at this point. But I thought it would be cool to share my saved reels with you guys. Yeah, they're just funny. Like this video is just for fun and games. Like also I would say 18 plus. So if you've got kids around, so get them out. Get them out. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like we're just chilling out together and I'm showing you my reels and like forcing you to watch my save reels because I do that a lot as well with my siblings and stuff. If you do like this video and you want to maybe see my husband's save reels because his ones are way better than mine. I don't know, I don't find the good, good ones. Anyways, I still have good, funny ones. But yeah, let's just show you to it. Let me get them out. Let me get them out. Oh my God, we're going strong on the first one. <laughs> when I said no kids, get the kids out. First of all, that girl who did the hot two, the hot two. Like, did she realize how viral it would go? Because now like, like I don't know, her colleagues are probably seeing this. It's so funny though, like good on her. Like she's, she just seems like such a hilarious person. But did she think that like, it would go that viral and like go everywhere? I would die. Oh my God, if it got to my work colleagues, I would die. But anyways, the funny bit is after. That hot two and spit on that thing. Uh, what is your best move in bed? Ooh, Ooh, that's hey. a nice one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Me on top. Yeah. You on top? Yeah. Yes, I'm on Dead. top. I'm yeah. the boss. And you like it, sir? She's oh, the God. Boss. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Have you been married or? We're married now for 25 years. I Any love tips that. for us young, uh, young guys? Yeah, uh, make sure your mum's got good tits. They're very firm. Uh, make sure you, your fella's got a big. Yeah. And uh, make sure it's hard all the time. So, and how do you make it hard to begin with? <laughs> oh. I don't need to, he just looks at my tits so I'm like, what? <laughs> and he just goes bang, it's up. Like, Granny's got game, like, she's got freak. I think she's got more freak than a lot of youngsters out there. Guys, 25 year marriage, like, you, if you want to know how to keep it lasting, there you go. Keep the spice alive. No, that video killed me. And she's saying it was so much confidence. There's no, there's no funny business. This is serious talk, like, she was giving the tips. I love getting advice from couples who have been like together for years. I just feel like, you know, when they tell me they've been married for 20, 25 years, I'm just like, do you have any advice? Like, like what do you guys do? The number one thing that comes every single time is compromise. Choose your battles. That's the number one that I get all the time. And it's very, very true. Anyways, let's go on to the next one. The I saw this whole, this was mine. Joel, you had kissed the bride. I want you to know that I've been waiting three years. <laughs> three years. Aww, honestly, that is so cute. Almost looks like fairy tale like and very magical, but like three years you didn't kiss. And what if she don't like it? What happens then? I know it's like a deeper connection and everything, but what, what happens if you don't like it? I know like that's crazy, but like what if she was like, Meh. this is not what I was expecting. I'm now married to him. It's not something that you see a lot nowadays, but it's refreshing. But I just thought it was mad. What like I found crazy was that it's your first kiss, but you're doing it in front of like all these people. Everyone's got their own experiences and like they, it was probably like amazing for them, but it's cr crazy like to do it in front of, for the first time in front of an audience. Cause it's so intimate. I don't know. what do you guys think? Oh my God, this next one is mad. Like I'm, it kind of freaks me out. Yeah. That is my reaction. Like, what on earth? Like, what in the Easter bunny? This is one for the hobbies. He doesn't do all of this. Like, no, you don't do this. But I know a lot of like hobbies do that. Heck, I do it. Like, if my husband comes to me and he's like, what the fuck's in the toilet? But for me, it was this. It was so accurate. Do you know how many times my husband does that? And I'm like, put it in the damn sink. The towel. I think I do that. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the hair. The hair in the sink. I know the hair in the sink. I know one person who bloody hates that, and it's my mum. 
Oh my god, I think my mom's been traumatized with hair in the sink. She could tell you stories herself. Sleeping next to the person you love reduces stress, helps you fall asleep faster, and prolongs the quality of life. Me sleeping next to the person. These are just like so such funny like couple videos and it's so crazy like how accurate it is like I'm just like are we all experiencing the same couple life like it's insane oh my god this <laughs> I don't know why they're not moving I don't know what the guy's saying but I don't know why they're not moving because I would be running for the hills you best believe you'll see me here and I will be gone no there's something about spiders and I think my sister has got it, got it even worse but the amount of times I've had nightmares about spiders like when I see a spider like it literally like my the goosebumps that I get like it's insane no actually I'm lying any bug any bug I just hate them flies flies are the worst like the chunky green ones I always tell my hubby like oh like we should go like hiking and do stuff like on holiday like you know explore and he's just like yeah right you like he knows how scared i am like i don't know if i could be in a rainforest where like i know they're like crazy bugs left right and side because if i hear a buzzing noise in my ear like i'm already like fidgety like i'm kind of like jumping until the next this is mad first of all what are you doing like that on a bike with the baby the baby's just flopping around i mean he did good at saving the baby because the baby's head didn't really technically touch the ground, but he did get flopped around a lot. But I'm like, why are you like that on the bike? I mean, at this point, you were just asking for it. Oh my God, this, if this does not make you want to watch House of Dragon or Game of Friends. Anything ha like dragon, you need to watch Game of Friends. If you haven't already any light dragons and stuff, you need to watch it. But bear in mind, the first few seasons are super boring. And it's the same with House of Dragon. Like, I started watching House of Dragon and I let it go and then I went back to it when the whole season was out and then we binge watched it. I feel like the first season's always boring with these kind of shows because it kind of just like, there's a lot of introduction and characters and building. So now that the second season's out, it's getting so good. So yeah, I, especially the last episode, all I'm going to say is poor Melis and Rainies. Yeah, you need to watch it. It's so good. Even like How to Train a Dragon, which is a cartoon, I love. It's like one of my fa favourite cartoons that and tangled oh my god let me know what your favorite disney movie is mine is tangled for sure or moana moana is a good one <coughs> the way they both <laughs> like is this guy shitting in his pants at this point because like who farts like that like why does it sound so wet oh my god this one's so cool at first I was looking at this and I'm like, what are they doing? <laughs> but then, then wait for it. I don't know who came up with this idea. And they made it look good as well. It looks legit. I don't know who came up with that, but 10 out of 10. Oh my God, guys. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My husband don't drive like this, but the amount of times I've seen people drive like that, I'm like, what do you even see? I love videos like this. First of all, do you know how hard that is? I don't even think I could do that. But I just love it. They're looking at her like, damn, she's strong. I love a strong woman. They're like, damn, she's keeping up. This is so funny. I would bring my baby to church if I saw that. These videos are so nice. So I love seeing what like the kids' eyes look like. Both me and my husband have brown eyes, so I know my kids are gonna have brown eyes, but like I just love seeing the videos and like because sometimes like they'll be like green and blue and the kids come out so different and like they all have like four kids and they all have different eyes it's so cool oh my god this this is why i'm traumatized it's a bloody pressure cooker one time, my mum has these old school pressure cookers, the big metal ones where you put the thing on the top. I think I put the wrong one on, so then when it was cooking and I was like doing my thing in the kitchen, like when it starts going, Shh, I think 
it wasn't doing anything, but you know when it gets to really high pressure, it basically flew off and hit the ceiling and I, I didn't even, I dropped what I was doing and I ran away. I didn't even bother turning the fire off, I just ran away. There wasn't anyone with me, but it's like I literally ran for my life upstairs, didn't even turn the, the fire off and I'm just like, oh my god, now I have to go back down there and face this scary ass machine and put the damn fire off. But, oh my god guys, so my sister bought an instant pot and it has a pressure cooker like option on it. And I've been putting off getting it for so long, but I recently made oxtail curry for like my family. And it usually takes three hours on the stove. So then I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna get this because it has a pressure cooker. I was so scared to use that machine, but it was, it literally is life changing. Like it doesn't even make noise. It's so easy to use and it's not scary. So, and it cooked the oxtail so quickly. So yeah, instant pot is the way forward. What's the word? Peanut butter. That's so funny. I'm de dead at the accent as well. That's so cute. I love videos like this where it actually shows real skin because sometimes like naturally, like even this, like this is making my skin look nice. I mean, lighting or like smooths out your skin naturally. Different lightings, different cameras makes your skin look so different. So all I would say is don't believe what you see online because everything just looks good. And obviously from my point of view, cause like from a creator point of view, you want your videos to look aesthetic and nice. You want the good lighting there. And sometimes when you film directly from TikTok, there's a filter, there's a smoothing filter. So I always take everything with a pinch of salt and I'll tell myself I actually, you know, everything is perfected or altered or just looks better than it should online. I love videos like this. It just makes me so happy. So Kim Kardashian and Khloe Kardashian went to the Ambani wedding. First of all, their outfits are like amazing. I'm just like, why is everyone there? Like, is it, are they just inviting everyone at this point? Like, it's almost like a Bollywood Met Gala. And why is it so packed inside? I feel like, you invited a lot of people, but this building was not big enough. I don't know how I feel about the Ambani wedding. I'm not attached to it. I'm not like obsessed with it like a lot of people are, but I do like seeing people, the the outfits and everything. Um, I just think it's just really like big and like, do you really know all these people? At this point, it's an event that you are lucky to get invited to. It, it's basically a Met Gala. That's what it is. That is the end of this video. I really do hope you liked watching these. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know because I can show you a bunch of my husband's save reels. So I'm gonna go.